This is going to be a mega theory video talking about the dragon connector and the tiger connector. In light of the recent revelation in this week's chapter, this theme and symbolism actually, well, funny enough, connects so many plot lines together that have massive implications for the future of the story. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how Lohan fits into all of this, why the tiger connector is more than likely an eviler version of the dragon connector Shen Wulong that we know, and also why Koga may actually end up being the final tiger. But to understand all of this, we're gonna have to take a few steps steps back while also liking and subscribing. Yeah, I snuck that in there. So without further ado, let's carry on with the video itself. So because of the recent revelation, we now know that the connector isn't a singular being, but rather a composite of two particular beings. One being the Shen Wu Long, whose name symbolizes the dragon. We know this mainly because Shen Wu Long's name directly translates to Black Dragon or Martial Dragon, as well as in the flashback with Gayo Mukaku's father, the connector or the previous generation of the connector confirmed that his name was tied to the symbolism of the dragon, a name in which he shared with Mukaku's father. And so because of this, it is safe to call him the Dragon Connector, since everything in the story is pointing us in that direction. However, the Dragon Connector so far in the story seems to have one descendant or clone descendant, and that is Gaio Ryuki. Now Gaio Ryuki has a lot of dragon symbolism. His title is called the Dragon King. His name also means dragon, if I'm not mistaken. And so there's very little to justify the connection between between the Dragon Connector and Ryuki, they are tied together because of the Dragon name. However, things tend to get a bit weird when we're talking about the Tiger. Because the Tiger Connector, we don't necessarily have his name per se. And this more than likely has to do with the fact that the Tiger Connector has been kept a secret for an extremely long amount of time. By of course Sandrovich and Daro, but I think even the Worm are trying to keep him out of the public, which will be very relevant later on. However, we do know that the Dragon Connector exists thanks to the revelation of the latest chapter. The descendants of the Tiger Connector is, of course, the most obvious one, Togita Oma. We do know that Togita Oma is supposed to be the Tiger's vessel. This has been confirmed multiple times over. Faye realized it before he died, Nico knew it for a long time, and Setsuna eventually figured this out as well. However, Oma's name doesn't seem to directly tie to any dragon symbolism. So that seems to be, at least out the gate, a huge theme or pattern with the Tiger Connector's descendants, you could say, or clones. The second descendant, or probably the first one, is Shen Lohan. Now, this one might be a bit more controversial to call him the descendant or a clone of the Dragon of the Tiger Connector, but the biggest amount of evidence that he isn't a Dragon Connector is the fact that Shen Wulong himself said he wasn't me. If you've watched my Nemesis theory, and my understanding Shen Wulong video, you would know exactly what this means. But in short, whenever Shen Wulong uses the word me in quotes, he's usually trying to distinguish himself from one of his other clones, specifically now that we have this revelation, the tiger clones. And so by default, because Lohan isn't a clone of the Dragon Connector, but is a clone of Shen Wulong, it means that he has to be a Tiger Connector clone. Which brings us to the next part of this, which is incredibly important because this does sort of show the type of character the Tiger Connector is going to end up being. He more than likely will not be as chill as the Dragon Connector, the one that we're currently interacting with. Because off of everything we know about him, the picture is not 
looking good. The first amount of evidence is that this is more than likely the connector that threatened Joji way back when in that entire event which got Lohan slapped across a parking lot. I know a lot of people have tried to defend this action by Shen Wulong but it really doesn't make sense unless not only is Lohan a clone of the tiger connector but is also probably the closest in character to him. Which brings us to the second evidence of why the second connector is probably going to be at least a lot more threatening. And that is the fact that whenever we seem to see him briefly within Shen Wulong, it's always shaded in black. This seems like a small thing to pick up on, but I think this does build his character or foreshadow it in some way. That and also whenever he has talked when he threatened Joji and in the latest chapter where Shen Wulong reveals that yeah the tiger connector probably exists within him, the speech bubbles are black. However, another thing that is also important and I think this is going to have a huge impact on the final parts of the story, especially plot lines that we haven't actually gotten to yet. And that is, why is it that Oma is called the tiger's vessel? If we were to take that at face value, it means that Oma is simply the vessel in which the tiger will dwell and not necessarily the inheritor of the tiger's spirit. Which means that the tiger's consciousness might truly exist somewhere else. And this might be a very good opportunity to bring in the cyber brain. We know that the cyber brain hasn't been talked about for a while, but if the tiger's spirit is actually real and Oma is just supposed to be the vessel in which will contain the tiger's spirit or consciousness, the cyber brain could simply be something that could be used to achieve this goal. However, for now it is safe to assume that the tiger's consciousness exists within Shen Wulong. However, I do think that the cyber brain is going to play a part in the tiger connectors situation but we'll see how that specifically plays out. Which brings us to the final part of the theory and that is how Koga might fit into all of this. And that is the fact that Koga seems to have tiger symbolism in his character. And there are three pieces of evidence that suggest this. The first one is his jacket. Koga's jacket at the back of it has a picture of, of course, a tiger. This one is fairly obvious to see. We've seen this jacket multiple times in the story. The second bit of evidence is that he is the student of the tiger's vessel and so in a sense he's inheriting from the tiger already. That whole plot point now has massive significance. The third and I think this is the most damning one. In the recent chapters we've seen Koga and Ryuki train together. We also know that Koga and Ryuki are huge friends. In fact, one might actually call them brothers. I don't think they are people that are more closer to each other, at least within the sphere of their own lives, like Koga and Ryuki. They're fairly close. The story is literally about them. Kengen, which rep represents Koga, and Omega, which represents Ryuki. But we also know that Ryuki is the dragon. And so, I think that Koga being a tiger has been foreshadowed in this way. Koga will probably be the one to ultimately overthrow the, the tiger and inherit his title or of course beat the tiger connector. Koga's ultimate challenge has always been, for the most part, been the tiger connector and his descendants, you could say. He had Oma as the reason he started fighting to begin with. Oma, again, was the one who picked him as his student to pass on the Nico style. And I've talked about this in my end of Oma theory and Tiger's Vessel theory as well. The character of Oma probably only exists at this point to be an antagonist to Koga at some point. This is going to happen 
And I'm probably incredible. I'm actually very confident in this idea. And this is also confirmed in the symbolism of Koga. But yeah, that's the theory. Bit long, a bit composite as I covered a lot of ideas. Tell me what you think about it. And until next time, take it easy.